Right now I'm ripping up the chimes. Um, I usually use a white oak or mahogany decking. Uh, this is totally experimental. I'm using PVC decking, one inch by five and a half. I'm going to rip this up and we'll find out how this works. I've used PVC on the bottom before as running gear and it's held up well. But this is something new. Let's find out how it works. What I'm doing right now is I'm lining up the bow stem. I'm gonna leave a little, I'm gonna leave a little extra on each end, and I'll cut that off later. I want to keep that front edge right in line with this narrow point. drill some holes for some permanent screws. I'm using number 10 inch and a quarter stainless screws. Space these about four inches apart. And repeat the process with the other side. Good, I'll cut another one of these opposite direction. Okay, I have the front of the chime fit to the bow stem. I'm going to get the length of it. I'm going to walk down the other end to the transom. I just 
cut this little notch out of this piece of plywood. I'm gonna see if this helps me to get a length. Coming on the outside, I'm coming in three quarters because the chime is going to butt right against here. Three quarters in. All right, the saw is set at 12 degrees. I'm marking one chine on top of the other to make sure they're both the same length. I just pre-drilled a series of holes every six inches along the bottom into the chine. What I'm going to do now is put the other sheet underneath this and just transfer those same drill holes. Right, Bella? I'm over here. Good girl. All right, I already laid out all these screw holes on one sheet. I'm going to transfer these over to the other side. I'm gonna get the top and bottom lined up. Put that marker. Looks like it. Just pull the chine out to the edge of the plywood. Pre-drill a hole. Previously I was showing you how to uh, get this inside notch on the transom and I did not have my chine stock but this is the best practice is to have a piece of your chine already cut with the 12 degree bevel on it. Just place that in there corner, mark that out, that's going to give you a most accurate way to do that. I took a measurement and that worked okay. Because I knew what I was going to cut, but uh, that just makes the most sense there. Right now I'm going to put together the jig, which is the form that I'm going to wrap the chine and the sides around. It's going to hold the transom. Um, I'm probably going to make a few changes from the last boat I built. Uh, just change some angles on it and whatnot, because I never make two things the same. I have some holes drilled in the concrete floor here that allows me to line up this jig.
I'm setting up my jig, I like to start with a string line or a chalk line on the floor. And I just took a point off my outside wall of my garage and matched that down the other end and started with my string line. Then I just measured over one side and put my 2x4 uprights. That point, that's, you set that along the measurement over from the string line and all these are all these stations are the same width so they pop right in that sets the other side screw it together fasten it to the floor to set this forward station I just come off my string line or chalk line make sure that's level you can shift that left or right Do the same thing with the transom, then the two stations in between, those alts also can be shifted left to right. So this is the stern of the boat where the transom goes. And I have this little notch laid out right here. That's where that brace on the transom is going to sit right on top of that because that's 12 inches from the floor. And this attaches with a couple of uh, screws into L brackets. So the transom center line is right in line with my laser. Now I want to check it for a cross too. See if that's level. Um, this side has to come up a hair. So I'm going to fasten this side first and then pick this side up with a little shingle or something. To move the third station over, uh, I have to line up this piece with the center mark. It's off a little bit right now. Must have been the last build, everything wasn't lined up. But no problem, I can slide it right over on the laser line. I'm going to raise this side a little bit with the shingle. Checking this for level. That looks really good, but the center line's not lined up. I don't know what happened last time I got a different spot, I guess. But I'm gonna put these the heights right, so I'm just gonna put this temporary these out. So the height won't change. But I want to change the center line. Care what the floor is. I want to move it around up here. All right, all stations are lined up right now. In the next episode, we take all the pieces we've been working on so far and put them together, and the boat takes shape. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.